up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 bmw x4 courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so i'm in this one today because there are actually a couple nice changes for the 2022 x4 not only that this is an awesome design in my opinion as part of what drew me to this one in general but three year 36,000 mile complimentary maintenance does come standard on all BMWs as well of course and so in this video I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering full ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with price and so there are actually two different configurations for the 2022 x4 there is the x drive 30i which is the one we have today starting at $51,600 and the M40i starting at $61,700 but as you can imagine with two configurations there are actually two power plants to go along with them first one belonging to the xDrive 30i that one is a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 248 horsepower at 5200 rpm 258 pound feet of torque coming in at approximately 1400 rpm power sent to all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will of course be testing out in a little bit here, but zero to 60 time comes in at approximately six seconds flat, according to BMW, with MPG numbers coming in at 23 in the city, 29 then on the highway. But then there is that other engine configuration belonging to the M40i. That one is powered by a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder, putting out 382 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 368 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,800 RPM. Once again, power sent to all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control on that particular configuration. But zero to 60 time for that one, 4.4 seconds in an SUV. That's just wonderful. But MPG numbers coming in at 21 in the city, 27 then on the highway. But so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in our X4, I do want to mention the drive modes. And so there are a few different drive mode buttons located directly behind the shifter. They will include Eco, Pro, Comfort, and Sport, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, the steering sensitivity, and the all-wheel drive system engagement as well. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first, and let's see how quickly these things are actually going to react for us here. All right, we're in first gear. Let's do this. Um, pulling out onto the road now. Dang, they're quick. <laughs> I always act surprised, but BMW always destroys it with paddle shifters. They are some of the quickest reacting paddle shifters in existence right now. So certainly, absolutely no issues with the paddle shifters. They're going to be an absolute blast if you decide to use them. But now before we get back full control to the X4 and do our acceleration test, I want to interrupt our regularly scheduled programming here for a quick message from our sponsor for today's video being Western Rise. And so like I said, this video is brought to you by Western Rise. Their pants are versatile, comfortable, and high performance. They don't wrinkle, smell, or stain, and they stretch in every direction. They have seriously changed the way I dress. And so what actually drew me to these is these are actually moisture wicks. So if you were to spill your drink, perhaps it is simply just going to beat up on your pants and then just roll right off basically because they do have that moisture wicking technology. Another cool thing is there's actually a small little pocket for your phone in the front and a hidden zip pocket then in the back for your wallet if you wanted to utilize that. And if that wasn't enough to win you over, they do also have 5,000 five-star reviews if you wanted to look that up as well. And also the durable material means each pair of pants comes with a lifetime warranty. These are literally the last pair of pants then you will ever need because of that lifetime warranty of course the western rise team is so confident that you will like it that they will actually let you test drive it if you wanted for seven days you can test multiple sizes and colors they won't charge you unless you actually keep them of course and if you were interested i will put a link over the video right now as well as in the description box below so you can easily find them i am currently wearing the evolution pant and the other reason i really like these not only because they're moisture wicking but they are so lightweight these things weigh a fraction of what your typical pants would actually weigh so they're very light very easy to move around with i'm definitely a big fan all right so now back to the review you guys let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's actually put this thing to the test here i'm going to get back full control to our x4 and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right you guys from a standstill in three two one off we go 
Yeah, that'll work. Plenty of an acceleration for merging onto the highway. There was a smidge bit of turbo lag at the very beginning, but once you get past that, this thing is a rocket. Even though we don't even have the M40i, 0 to 60 in six seconds flat, you guys, in an SUV especially, is crazy quick, let me tell you. So absolutely no issues when it comes to that acceleration. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so brake setup will differ slightly depending upon if you go with xDrive 30i or the M40i. For the 30i, you're gonna get 13 inch ventilated front disc, 13 inch solid rear disc. If you were to jump up to the M40i, you're gonna get 13.7 inch ventilated front disc, 13.5 inch solid rear disc. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it's gonna come in at approximately 100 23 feet for the X Drive 30i and then 109 feet for the M40i. But having said that, both of those numbers are plenty respectable. I've driven so many SUVs lately where that 60 to 0 stopping distance comes in in the 130s. So 123 feet even is plenty fine. And as far as the braking feel goes, definitely bites very hard it's actually perfect it's not it doesn't bite too hard but it's not a soft brake you feel either it's honestly exactly how i personally would probably want an suv to break i'll i'll put it that way but 109 feet is just ridiculous that's like a sports car but with an suv so that's crazy but then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent strut type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars also an m sport suspension coming on this one as well that is pretty cool and if you were to go with that m40i you can get an adaptive suspension then as well and actually you can even get that with the x drive 30i there is a dynamic handling package that goes for 1200 so if you wanted that adaptive suspension you can still get it on this particular setup that we have here today but essentially what that is is it monitors each shock absorber individually not only giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up that suspension during heavy cornering really giving you the best of both worlds so whenever there is an adaptive suspension available i do always try to recommend that because you can always tell the difference instantly when you compare the two driving them back to back so that is definitely an option i personally would recommend at least but overall as far as ride quality goes it is great bmw always kills it with ride quality anyway so i never had any doubts but ride quality is plenty fine it's certainly absorbing pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely as far as the steering feel goes that is wonderful and really, I always say this, what makes it even better since we have the M Sport package, we got these 10 and two grips that are absolutely a mammoth. They are massive and it gives the driver a better feeling of being in control. And that's why I kind of emphasize on the 10 and two grips because I personally love them. They have the biggest grips out there in the automotive world right now and they are perfect, at least for me. So I am definitely a big fan of the grips, but again, when it comes to the steering feel, it's perfectly fine. And like I told you guys, it is actually adjustable. You put it in the sport mode, you're gonna have a heavier weight to it. You put it in maybe Eco Pro, it's gonna feel kind of loosey-goosey. So depends on what you're into, I guess. Then touching on cabin noise, that is again, one of the first things I noticed. I've driven so many SUVs lately and they always give me some kind of wind noise, at least lately, I feel like. But with the X4, you get nothing. It's a very serene, very peaceful cabin here in the X4. So I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever when it comes to that then touching on visibility perhaps i mean i think everyone knows which what i'm going to say here the x4 because of its cool sport back like design visibility is not obviously going to be as good as let's say the x3 maybe but having said that i always use this as an example because i've talked to many of these guys but if you were to ask a Camaro owner or a 370Z owner how their visibility is, which really in reality, it's absolutely horrible, they will actually tell you it's perfectly fine because it's something that you get used to. So although this visibility isn't the most out there, it's definitely something I would imagine you would get used to. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but also to go along with visibility, rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard across the board. That's pretty cool. And if you were to go with the M40i, you're also going to get a head up display, which by the way is optional on the xDrive 30i. We actually do have it here today. So currently I am looking at my speed as well as the speed limit of any given road. And it also actually projects some safety features up there as well when it's needed. So that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's not go Go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 
BMW X4. Right, and so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 BMW X4 finished in alpine white. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name, I actually like it. I always think white BMWs look really good. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one because there are several revisions for the 2022 X4 when it comes to exterior styling. For example, take a look at that front grille. It's now a larger front grille for the 2022 X4. So I did want to mention that it is still an active front grille as well. So if I get up closer here, you guys can see that those shutters are closed right now because engine cooling is not needed. But when I was actually driving it, those shutters were open. And maybe when I'm doing my exterior shots of this video i'll have a chance to show that to you guys maybe not i don't know but they are closed right now so i do want to mention that because the active kidney front grille is pretty cool but continuing on satin aluminum exterior trim surrounding that front grille for the x drive 30i cerium gray exterior trim for the m40i and you can also get gloss black surrounds if you were to go with the m sport package like we have here in our particular x4 front air curtains down to the corners there you guys can see those those assist air and making its way around the wheel and tire combination giving you a little better aerodynamics there also you will find a more aggressive front fascia if you were to go with that m sport package and by the way that package goes for fifteen hundred and fifty dollars in case anybody was curious about that to the sides led headlights with the cornering function do come standard across the board cornering function meaning when you're going around a bend at night those headlights will swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around the bend so it's a safety feature there in itself that's pretty cool of course automatic feature coming with those headlights LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights are available then as well. So overall, pretty much everything you could possibly want on the front end. And again, our front end is slightly revised because we have the M Sport package. So it is going to differ depending upon which configuration that you go with. But that about rounds out the front of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the X4. All right, so now making our way to the side. Roof rails are available, but they do not come standard, but they go for $250 then if you were interested. Satin aluminum, serum gray, or gloss blue black window surrounds again depended upon which configuration that you go with rear privacy glass does come standard across the board of course there are actually some functional front fender vents let me get up close here so i can show those two guys again assisting with aerodynamics there so i found that was pretty cool and again they're going to be finished in the same exterior material as finished on the window so figured i mentioned that then when it comes to those side mirrors they are power folding body colored side mirrors they will come heated with led integrated turd signals then as well then taking a look down at the wheel configuration, 19-inch gray aluminum alloys coming with the X-Drive 30i, 19-inch double five-spoke alloys coming with the M Sport, and of course there are 20-inch wheel designs and 21-inch wheel designs available as well. For example, you actually are looking at a 21-inch wheel design that is optional on the M Sport, so that is pretty cool. I like those wheels. They look pretty good on this X4 that we have here today, but last thing I wanted to mention on the side here are the side skirts, satin aluminum accents will come standard for the x drive 30i and then you can get body colored side skirts like you're currently looking at if you were to go with the m sport package or the m40i then as well but that about rounds out the side of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the back it's up now since we are round back body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top just below that rear spoiler found in the upper portion of that rear window just below that you will find led tail lights coming standard across the board gotta love that satin aluminum trim then on the lower portion portion of the rear bumper unless you go with the M Sport or the M40i because then it is going to be transferred to gloss black and another cool thing about that rear bumper it's kind of like a rear diffuser back there in gloss black as well so I thought that was pretty cool but anyways to the sides then these exhaust outlets are kind of integrated into the bottom portion of that rear bumper which I think is a pretty cool look and they will be finished in chrome or a dark chrome as on our M Sport package here today but nonetheless I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All 
All right, so now since we are around back of the X4, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, there is a power tailgate that just comes standard across the board. There is a button on the key fob that is one way, but the coolest way I think, in my personal opinion, to go ahead and open that rear tailgate is there's actually a hidden 007-ish kind of way in the back. You simply just press in on the upper portion of the BMW logo, which you would not even think would be a way to go ahead and open up that tailgate. So. That's the way I would do it because people that don't own a BMW or specifically the X4 are going to have no idea that you can do that. So I think that's pretty darn cool. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 23.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there's a 40-20-40 split, which means the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 50.5 cubic feet. There's also cargo lighting back there, but not just any cargo lighting, LED cargo lighting. You do not always get that. I thought that was pretty cool. Luggage net on the left side of the cargo area. There's plenty of tie-down anchors. There's grocery bag hooks. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find some in-floor storage actually as well, which is pretty cool. But anyways, that about rounds out the cargo area. That Taking our way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 35.5 inches so for reference i am an even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the back there rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard rear ventilation but not only that the x4 actually comes standard with tri-zone climate control so with that rear ventilation rear passengers can actually set their own temperatures back there so that is pretty cool but anyways heated rear seats coming with the m40i if you go with the premium or executive packages that's how you're going to go ahead and get them charging ports can be found phone charging ports can be found back there as well and of course they get a little taste of the ambient lighting that we have as well which is pretty cool I like this purple color I think I'm gonna leave it on that but anyways I'll show you guys the ambient lighting later then make our way to the front seat Sensitec upholstery coming standard however there is a Vernasca leather that is available on the X4 power adjustable front seats with power lumbar does come standard memory settings actually surprisingly does come standard as well you almost never get memory settings coming standard on any vehicle out there so i thought that was pretty cool heated front seats are an option for an additional 500 dollars if you wanted it as a standalone option i should say also like the adjustable leg rest that i found here on our x4 too you don't always get them actually you very rarely get them so lumbar support was plenty good on this thing overall seats were insanely comfortable especially due to this leg rest that i've been playing around with for the longest time but anyways let's not go ahead and make our way to the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped coming standard and it can be heated if you wanted to spend an additional $190. So that is available for you. They make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your cool M Sport colors on the side because we do have the M Sport package. You also get those colors with the M40i, of course, as well. But overall, lock, unlock, that button to pop the rear hatch. The lock button is actually the BMW logo, but it is all keyless entry with the push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the shifter and now here's my favorite part upon startup you will find the x4 comes standard with a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and that isn't an option again it comes standard across the board you don't always get that so i have to emphasize these things so that's pretty cool to adjust what is on those digital gauges there are steering wheel mounted controls of course but it does adjust slightly the colors when you change the drive modes as well so if i were to put it in eco pro you're going to get some blue hues obviously sport you're going to get red hues and then if you put it in that comfort mode it's going to be more towards the orange side of things and if you're curious what the lines were in the middle of it all that's actually the navigation portion of it so it does display a little bit of the navigation within those gauges as well it tells you how many miles you have left until you hit empty speed limit recognition up there there's outside temperature pretty much everything you could possibly think of on a digital gauge cluster of course but then making our way to overall interior quality a dual pane panoramic sunroof does come standard anthracite headliner also standard three zone climate control also standard auto dimming rear view mirror universal garage door openers wrapped to three different garage doors that's pretty cool dark oak wood trim coming standard i like the oak wood trim that's found just underneath the infotainment screen which i'll get to in a second also on the doors as well that looks pretty darn cool and i keep mentioning the ambient lighting you guys that's an option that goes for 250 dollars an option i would definitely recommend i always say mercedes-benz and bmw do ambient lighting very very well so it looks absolutely wonderful in here you can adjust the ambient lighting using the infotainment screen of course but overall interior quality is finished as you would expect it to be 
for the X4. Like I said, you got the wood trim, you have the contrast leather, you also have the ambient lighting. Even the actual handle to open the glove box is finished in silver, whereas other manufacturers usually just leave it the same color as the glove box itself. So I thought that was pretty cool. You do have cup holders just in front of the shifter, 12 volt power outlet, little bit of storage up there. Just behind the shifter, you have an electromechanical parking brake and a decent amount of storage found within the center armrest as well with a little light in there and another phone charging port then too. So overall, interior quality is 100% on point as you would expect it to be here in the X4. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. There is a 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display that does come standard. But the coolest thing is it's not just touchscreen. It is voice activated. You can also use the touchpad controller and buttons located just to the right of the shifter and gesture control is available if you wanted to go that route as well and gesture control is one of the coolest things essentially i'm turning up the radio now it's on frank sinatra but i'm just i'm just moving my finger that's all i'm doing i can turn it up i can turn it down it's so cool with my finger that's nuts i love gesture control on any bmw but anyways continuing on bluetooth and audio streaming of course does come standard android auto apple carplay coming standard as well factory navigation system coming standard yet again climate control settings you can adjust up there ambient lighting settings as i was telling you guys as well and by the way to adjust that ambient lighting you hit the car icon and then you hit the settings icon and then you hit the interior lighting icon and then you can actually adjust the colors. I'm gonna leave it on purple, but you can also choose green, blue, there's white, there's orange, or lilac, I should say, I'm leaving it on. Also bronze, so plenty of colors. And if you guys watch my reviews, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with ambient lighting, so I think that's pretty cool. But anyways, can of course also check out your radio information up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system here in our X4, 12 speaker hi-fi sound system with 205 watts does come standard across the board. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on some Frank Sinatra here and let's test out the clarity of this one. When there's a shine on your shoes, there's Is it just me or every time when you guys hear Frank Sinatra do you feel like going to the Olive Garden? I don't know. It's maybe it's just me. Sound system was plenty fine though actually considering it's not like a Harmon Kardon or a uh, Bowers and Wilkins or something like that. This is just the standard hi-fi sound system, but the standard sound system gets 12 speakers. Usually you're used to six or maybe eight if you're lucky, but 12 speakers is plenty fine for the size of the X4 if I'm being honest. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the X4 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. That 360 degree monitor you guys are seeing to the right, that is optional, but that is gonna give you the bird's eye view, which is always is going to lead us into safety and so front side side curtain airbags do come standard on the x4 in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system that's all extremely boring at this point but also coming standard across the board front and rear parking sensors forward collision warning blind spot monitoring system lane departure warning and speed limit recognition as well and then i did want to also mention that there is a parking assistance package that goes for 700 bucks that's going to be that automatic parking so that's pretty cool too if you want to dip anyways when it comes to my final thoughts here of the X4, I do love the styling of the X4. The Sportback design on an SUV is so freaking cool to me. There are some slight upgrades. The taillights were redone, of course, for 2022, as well as the front grille as well. So nothing too crazy, though. It's not like a complete redesign. It's just a couple little refreshes here for this one. Three years of free maintenance is definitely a big selling point as well. Digital gauges are always wonderful on BMW. Ambient lighting is stellar as well. Driving dynamics, though. So that's really the main focus of all BMWs, I think. If you're into driving dynamics, if you want a fun drive in an SUV, this is definitely one you're going to have to check out because the driving dynamics on this X4 are wonderful, especially if you want 0 to 60 and 4.4, go with the M40i. But even if you don't, this thing was plenty quick on our xDrive 30i, I will say that. But the only thing I can think of when it comes to room for improvement is this thing can get dang pricey with all of the options that BMW gives you. And so ultimately, if you're spending this much money, you might have the money for all these options, but a lot of other manufacturers will just put it in their trim levels or they'll put it standard, but there are so many different options you could tack onto this X4, I'll just say that. But that about rounds out this review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you wanna see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel 
after all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. <laughs>